Hello, Curiosities! It's October, and it's my favorite month because everybody plays dress up. Today, we're gonna do something a little different than we've done in the past. We're gonna be calling this Fangirl, and it's essentially where I talk about five things every month which make me happy or that I really enjoy. Super simple, not complicated, just pure, positive, happy, joy joyness. Mwah. Number one are these beautiful horns you see on top of my head, um, which, if you watched my Extra Life DD session, they will look very familiar as they are the horns I wore for my tiefling that you can see here. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a makeup and hair tutorial of how, one, this look was achieved later this month, um, and two, how I designed my, styled my hair in a way that people were like, are those attached to your head? But no, they're on a headband, which you can probably tell very um, easily right now because I just popped them on my head. Uh, but these, are made by an amazing company called Idolatre on Etsy. Um, they're hand cast and painted and just so super pretty. Uh, you can get them in different colors and then, then she has other styles as well. They're amazing and fantastic and I'm going to link it right here so that you can check it out for yourself. Um, and if you do, Get a, get a pair of these. Please take a picture and send it to me because I would love to see them. Um, they're really comfortable as well. I actually wore them for both, I mean, I wore them for both of my gaming sessions, but I never took them off in between. So I was wearing them from about 11 a.m. on Saturday to about 9 a.m. on Sunday. So I, I slept in them. I mean, I had to be a little careful not to squish my hair. Uh, but these were, these were pretty darn comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so highly, highly recommended. Also, if for some reason you didn't get a chance to see us live streaming our D&D &D games, you can actually go to the D&D &D Wizards of the Coast Twitch channel, which I will link as well, and you can <laughs> go to their past broadcasts and watch the whole thing if you want, or you can just watch my sessions, or you can watch other people's sessions that aren't me because there were some amazingly talented people. Um, but you will have to like poke through like 40 hours <laughs> of uh, uh, content. So get to scrolling. I was at 12 to 4 p.m. on Saturday and 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. Number two is a lot more simpler and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get made fun of it. Um, but as it is fall, uh, pumpkin spice is out, and you're probably going, ah, pumpkin spice latte. No, no, my friend, because there is a better way. And it's called the pumpkin spice chai. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like autumn in a cup. I mean, check this out. Ah, it's like a crisp autumn morning and deliciousness in my belly. See, the leaves are falling. But how do you order this deliciousness? Well, uh, go to your local Starbucks and they're kind of freaking everywhere. So I can't imagine that'll be super hard for you. If you get tall, it should be a tall, no water into in your milk chai with one pump pumpkin spice with grande. It's two pumps with venti 2.5. And you might feel really guilty ordering the 2.5 because it seems so bizarrely uh, specific and kind of douchey, but one, it's delicious. Two, if you're nice about it, they will all admit, trust me, I've heard way worse orders. So, and as a former barista myself, let me tell you, there are way worse orders. I once had a guy who would order this little shot drink with things done to it. It took him longer to order it than drink it. That guy. Number three is also beverage related and something I didn't get to do last year because we were in the scary house during Halloween, but I love butterbeer recipes. They are fantastic. And this year I'm going to be trying about three of them uh, and hopefully being able to film those as well, we'll see. Uh, but if you have an amazing butterbeer recipe and you think that should be one of the three I try, please leave it in the comments below. Um, and that'll be a fun journey of us finding which is the most delicious and tasty. Number four is Nightmare Before Christmas. Since I'm now living in LA and I get a pass to Disneyland thanks to work, I uh, got to see the Holiday Haunted Mansion and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's the most amazing thing ever for me. 
Uh, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It's so like, this is nostalgia and childhood and it's amazing. I cried, you guys, when I'm on it. I cried so hard. It was just beautiful. In this town we call home, everyone hail to the pumpkin sun. La, 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 Also, since apparently this year is just freaking awesome for Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, on Halloween itself, the Doctor and I will be going to the Hollywood Bowl and seeing a live orchestral and vocal like performance of Nightmare Before Christmas, where Danny Elfman will be reprising his role as Jack Skellington. And it's going to be amazing. Now, sadly, if you don't live in the LA area and these aren't things that are open to you, I will tell you that right now, on Netflix, Nightmare Before Christmas is currently available to watch. So if you've never seen it, or if you're just getting hankering for nostalgia, and unfortunately I do know that there are countries where Netflix is not available to you and that really sucks, and I don't condone piracy, but I will say, if you've never seen it, maybe you should. Number five, noodles. 13 Days and 13 Shorts is an art project that was started by my friend Omar. Now, essentially what it is, is 13 themes are picked for the last 13 days leading up to Halloween. What, honey? You're distracting me from filming. I don't normally like cats, but this cat is the sweetest thing in the world. Go explore! Anyone can enter and submit. I will be doing two things myself this year. Um, because I didn't want to take on too much because I know I have a bad habit of doing that. I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can go check out the trailer and hear exactly what it's all about, but it's fantastic. You can do photography, short stories, videos, whatever you want, as long as it encompasses that particular day's theme. I highly, highly encourage you to check it out and participate yourself this year. What are five things that make you happy this month? Be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you try out any of the things that I talked about here, please let me know about it. I'd love to hear it. Have a great weekend, and until next time, stay curious.